Hi again and welcome. As we sail home from the Scilly Isles, join us and see the splendour and beauty of our southwest English coastline. As we start to cross the shipping lanes, it's important to keep a watch out. Ahead of us is a tanker. The tanker is visible. It's also showing up on our AIS system. The AIS plots over our active chart. AIS stands for Automatic Identification System and is effectively an anti-collision system. As you can see on here, all the triangles are ships heading in different directions. These give all the details, including their name, their size, their speed and their relative speed. We also have a live AIS transmitter on board, so all of the shipping can also see us. to the south of Land's End is the infamous Wolf Rock. This is a pinnacle of rock that stands in 75 metres of water. Thank goodness for charts and lighthouses. Wolf Rock, it's awesome. It's just standing there, proud in the middle of the Atlantic. Can you imagine in the times before charts and shipping would be sunk. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? I love the Helford River. I'm always sorry when we have to leave. But the storm is brewing and we're going to try and make it into Plymouth before it gets really bad. So here we are. Just like a mama used to make, huh? Well, we started off going to Plymouth this morning, got fed up of using the engine, so ended up here in Foy in Cornwall. And what a beautiful spot!
1812, four million tonnes of rock was used in the construction of the Breakwater. Work was started on the fort in 1861. It was to protect Plymouth Sound. Tide Force is a 39,000 tonne tanker. Well, yesterday we came into Plymouth, a bit of a lumpy crossing, but we are hiding in Plymouth Yacht Haven as there's a horrible wind, 35 miles an hour, and as you can see, jolly unpleasant out there. And we're now sitting effectively in a bus shelter, waiting 30 minutes for a taxi. So glad it's the summer. What are your thoughts, Maxie? Yeah, that's quite fun. Here we have Neil paying. <laughs> oh, <hi. safely mooring up in the bag in Selcombe. Time for a gin and tonic and look at the view. Well yesterday we had a very unusual rolly rolly day and winds and then today has turned out to be a perfect sailing day. Just look at this sea flat. It's beautiful. We've got five and a half knots of wind doing 3.1 knots. Hang on Neil, can I just show you the, the beautiful English coastline. Look at it, unspoiled, just divine.
After a gentle sail, we drifted into Dartmouth for the night. The River Dart is as fascinating in the evening as it is in the daytime. This visitor, a friendly local seal, was attracted by all the fish coming to have a look at the lights. We were oblivious to all the sea life beneath our keel. However, the seal certainly wasn't. The next morning, bright and early, we're on our way home, the final leg. We're accompanied by a pod of local dolphins who seem to be up for fun. It's good to see them. At last, the River X comes into sight and we see familiar coastlines. The beaches at Exmouth are crowded with holidaymakers, all having fun. It's good to be home. We've been away for quite a while, almost a month. It's been a long old journey there and back again, but we've enjoyed it. Join us again on our next adventure of Sea Pigeon. You'll be very welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Bye.